subscribe to I Am Our Scary Tales and watch spine chilling horror stories almost every day. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. I've been staying in my apartment in Jersey City during this coronavirus epidemic. My roommate has since gone home to Ohio to stay with her family doing all of this. So I've been in the apartment alone. I've been mostly just watching new movies and shows. I try not to go out too much because my city is pretty bad right now. A couple of days ago, I was running extremely low on food, so I had to make a mandatory grocery run. I went to the nearby Trader Joe's wearing a mask and gloves, which considering the insane line and the limited stock turned out to be a good idea. On my walk back home in the dark, I realized the streets were even quieter than they were the last time I went shopping, just a week before. Suddenly, out of an alleyway, some guy wearing a mask and gloves approaches me. He had a baby, wrapped in a hoodie and a small blanket in his hands. He seemed really sincere, and asked me to let him take his son to my apartment real quick, so he could change his diapers and feed him his food. He swore to me that he was clean, and that he just really needed this favor for five minutes. It seemed like an emergency, and hearing the baby's little cries and the fact that this man even had a child with him, it just seemed really sincere and the soft part of me agreed. I led him into my apartment building. It was only a short walk from there. We walked up the three stories to my apartment and I led him inside, asking him to close the door behind him. I cleared a spot on the living room table for him to change his child's diapers and whatever. When I turned around, I saw the man snooping around in a strange way. He'd gone into my kitchen to do God knows what. I called over to him, letting him know that I'd set up the table for him to use. He didn't answer. I started getting confused. I walked into the kitchen and saw him looking around suspiciously. But what really confused me was the fact that the man was holding what I thought was his child with just one hand. It took me a second to realize it wasn't a child. It was just a baby doll wrapped in a blanket. One of those realistic ones that can make crying noises. He looked at me and suddenly pulled the gun out of his pocket. That's where things went from one to a hundred real quick. With a gun aimed straight at my head, he said something like, I'm gonna take what I want, and you're gonna stay in my sight. Of course I had to say okay. I wondered if it could be a BB gun with the tip painted black, but even if it was, I doubt if I could have overpowered him. I couldn't risk it. He pulled out a big black bag from his backpack and filled it with valuables. My wallet, some of my roommate's jewelry, kitchen valuables, my brother's Xbox, and my iPad. It was sickening to watch, but I was more scared of him pulling the trigger of that gun. He filled his bag and threw the fake baby in it as well, and then he left. I called the cops first thing. They came and helped me get in touch with the building owner to check out the CCTV footage. Of course, it didn't help him much, since his face was covered by a mask, making it near impossible to even discover who he was. All I can do is urge everyone to be careful. Don't trust anybody. Stay indoors until all of this is over.